Hey guys, this is Wes, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a palindrome function in Python. And if you don't know what a palindrome is, it's just a word or a phrase that is read the same forwards as it is backwards. So the way we're going to get started is we're going to create a new file, and this is where we're going to write our code. So the way we're going to start is we're going to prompt the user for a word or a phrase and then we're going to evaluate that word or phrase in our function to determine whether or not it is a palindrome. So we're just going to make a variable called word and we're going to set it equal to input and we're just going to say enter a word or phrase. And this is going to be what the user sees. This is going to be what prompts up on their screen. So now we can start our function. Um, the way we do this is we use the define keyword to create a function and we're just going to call our function is palindrome and we're going to pass it the parameters word because this function takes an in input value of whatever the user types in up here. So as you can see words here, words here, this is what this function is using as input. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to create or we need to convert what the user has typed in the form of a string and convert it into a list because lists have specific functions such as pop that strings don't that is necessary for this function to work properly. So we're just going to create a new variable inside of this function. We're going to call it letters and we're going to set it equal to the keyword list which all it does is it converts a string into a list and the string that we're going to convert does it's not limited to strings but for the sake of this video we're just going to say that we're just converting strings and what we're going to convert is word so now our word is no longer a string it's actually a list and it's called letters we're also going to create a second variable and we're going to call it is palindrome and we're going to set it equal to true because by default what we're going to we're just going to assume that the word is a palindrome and if it isn't then we'll set it to false but from the get-go we're just assuming that whatever they typed in is a palindrome so we're going to create a for loop to do this so we're going to say for letter and all letter is in a for loop we could we could say this is x but all it is is a variable that iterates throughout the list or the string or whatever it's iterating through and it holds each value of that list so we're just going to say for letter in letters we're going to say if letter is equal to and make sure you use a double equals because a single equals would just be setting the values would be an assignment operator and what we're trying to do is we're trying to check to see if letter is in fact equal to um, letters negative one and all this statement is saying is 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 the first letter in our letters list equal to the very last letter in our letters list if that is the case what we're going to do is we're going to use a function we're going to say letters dot pop negative one and if you don't know what the pop function does all it is is it's a, it's a built-in function in Python that removes and returns the last value from a list um, or give an index value if the index is not given then the last element is popped and removed. So by definition, we actually don't need to specify th that negative one because that's what it does if you don't give it any values. It removes and returns the last value from the list. So if we were to say letters that pop zero, it would remove the very first um, letter from our letters list. Okay. So we're going to say else is palindrome is equal to 
false and then we're going to break out of our for loop then we are going to make sure the indentation is outside of the for loop we're just going to return is palindrome and this is basically we're done with the uh, function and if it doesn't make sense I'll go through it again this function is taking in this function is taking in the input value and the input value is user input in the form of a string we are then converting this word or the string that the user has inputted into a list and assigning that list to the variable letters we're creating a, a boolean variable called is palindrome and setting it equal to true and then we're creating a for loop that iterates through our letters list and each and this is how it works if you don't know how a for loop works for letter and letters so letter is going to be storing the very first value in our list for the first iteration so if the very first letter is equal to the very last letter we're going to pop off the last letter then it goes back up here for the next iteration it goes to the second letter in our list and then it says if the second letter in our list is equal to the last letter and the last letter in our list is different than it was before because we use the pop method and we keep doing that until the for loop has iterated through every single letter in our letters list and if for some reason that the this letter is not equal to letters minus one it skips the <clears throat> it skips the uh, body of our if statement and goes to our else clause in our else clause we're just going to say is palindrome is equal to false and then we'll break out of the loop and then we're going to return is palindrome it's either going to be true or false so since we've created our um, function now we just need to use it so the way we're going to do that is we're just going to say if is palindrome is equal to true and we got to pass it the argument word or it wouldn't work we're just going to print you entered a palindrome else print you didn't enter a palindrome okay so we should be done here um, we're going to save our file we're going to save it on the desktop and we're just call it we'll just call it palind for short and we will here we'll, we'll do this capital P save okay so we're gonna run this and it says enter a word or phrase so we're gonna start simple with something that we know for sure is a palindrome mom is read the same forwards as it is backwards so if we hit enter forgot the uh, E right here when you're coding you have to be very specific with everything so hopefully this fixes it so enter a word or phrase we'll say mom okay I completely misspelled it D okay hopefully this works now run module okay enter a word or phrase we'll say mom okay you entered a palindrome it works <laughs> okay so we'll run it again we'll run module We'll, we'll do another one. We'll do race car. That's spelled the same forwards as backwards. Okay. You didn't enter a palindrome. Race car race. Okay. I kept the zero in here when I was trying to show you guys what was going on. Hopefully, <laughs> this is the last time. Okay. Run module. Okay, so we'll enter race car. Okay, you entered a palindrome. Seems to be working. We will do, say, radar. You entered a palindrome. Let's do 
let's do taco cat that's the same forwards as it is backwards but it says you didn't enter a palindrome why do you think that is well it's because in Python so with the space the space is actually considered a it's actually considered an item in our list and with the space it is actually not a palindrome the same forwards as backwards so we're gonna have to remove all the white space inside of our text and essentially cluster it all together so that it is read the same forwards as backwards with the same spaces which there will be none so there's actually a method that we can use that will do this and it's called replace so we're going to replace all white space which is just a space with no space and then this should cluster all our words together so that now that we now we can actually use phrases and you check to see if they are palindromes so this should work if we run it so enter a word or phrase we'll, we'll do taco cat again okay you entered a palindrome so that's the basics of the program. Um, we'll get into some cooler ones. Let's run this right here. So you, uh, let's use a nut for a jar of tuna. You entered a palindrome. That's actually read the same forwards as backwards if you eliminate all white space, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Let's do another one. We will say borrow or rob. You entered a palindrome. Cool. Let's go through some uh, a longer one. This one's uh, a pretty long phrase. So was it a car or a cat I saw? That's also a palindrome. Um, let's do a few. Let's do one more. We'll say murder for for a jar of red rum. You entered a palindrome. So that'll be it for this video. This is basically just for beginners that have learned the syntax of Python that want to take they're coding a step further and get into small little projects. Um, that'll definitely help you uh, improve your coding ability. So if this has been helpful, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in further videos.